Hi, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be um, <clears throat> looking at uh, lesson 9-2. And 9-2 is division with um, fractions, mixed numbers, and quotients. So essentially the same as 9-1, except we can turn some of our division expressions into mixed numbers. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so up first, let's try um, let's try eleven divided by six. Oops. And everybody seemed to do do really well uh, with this today. So let's. Um, I think everybody was pretty sh clear on eleven divided by six. The expression really means eleven over six. Now this is what we have been classifying as an improper fraction. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So most of you know how to do this. You can leave it like this, but we have been taking 11, 6, and we have been take, turning it into 1 and 5, 6. Now, how did I get 1 and 5, 6? That's, well, that's very important because uh, I think there are still some questions on how to do that. Remember, if I want to pull out one whole from 11, 6, I can pull out 6, 6 because that's the denominator, so that's my whole. This equals 1. And I'm left over, if I do 11 minus 6, I'm left over at 5, 6. So there's my 1 and 5, 6. And that's how I got this. Okay? Another way to look at it would be to write it as a uh, division expression. 6 goes into 11 one time. If you subtract 6, 11 minus 6 is 5. 5 becomes the new numerator and you keep the denominator. Okay? So a few ways... To look at it, it's uh, most of you will find this to be very easy, uh, but it's if anything, it's a really good way to practice us getting back to turning improper fractions to mixed numbers. So let's try another one. Uh, let's try someone something simple like one divided by five. Um, so if we do one divided by five, I think everybody knows that means one over five. And that's all I could do. There is no mixed number I can get out of that. All right, but there, I can. So that's it. Done. Easy. Smiley face. I can uh, do something with a 18 divided by 4. So let's try 18 divided by 4. If I were to do 18 divided by 4, I know that's 18 over 4. Okay. A couple ways we could look at it. If we divide... 18 divided by 4. Well, 4 can go into 18 four times. Because 4 times 4 is 16. And 18 minus 16 is 2. So that means I would have 4 and 2 fourths. Well, I'm on the end of the Chromebook. Many of you also would say, how many groups of 4 fourths can I get out of 18? Or you can get 4 groups out of 18. 4 times 4 is 16. That means there's 2 left. All right? And you could also say this is 4 and a half. All right? So pretty simple. Uh, nothing super challenging. Um, I don't think that anyone have much of a problem. We'll try a couple more. Not all of them could be rewritten as um, mixed numbers, just a few. So let's try another one um, that we can rewrite as a mixed number. So we have the expression 9 divided by 8, okay? Fraction 9 divided by 8 would look as 9 over 8. Now, if I wanted to rewrite 9 eighths as a mixed number, one thing that I can do is I could say to myself, how many holes can I get out of this? And I'll, because the denominator is 8, I'm going to take out one hole, which is 8 eighths. That's equal to 1. If I do 9 minus 8, I have 1 left over, and I keep the denominator of 8. So my mixed number would be 1 and 1 eighth. Now, if you can't do that in your head, another way to look at it would be to set it up as a division problem. Okay? How many groups of 8 can you get out of 9? Well, you can get one group of 8 out of 9. And 8 times 1 is 8, so if I subtracted 8 from 9, I'd have 1 left over. And I have 1 and 1 eighth. Okay, so the remainder becomes the new numerator in your mixed number. Again, not too hard. Um, let's try a bigger number. Uh, 
I think that these are kind of all easy. Um, then I'll do two word problems and or examples of word problems. Okay, so let's do 28 divided by 20. The fraction would be 28 over 20. That's an improper fraction. It's a fraction greater than 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, how many holes can I get out of 28 twentieths? Well, if I take away one hole, which is 20 twentieths, this is equal to 1, okay? 28 minus 20 is 8 left over, 8 twentieths. So my mixed number is 1 and 8 twentieths. And if I wanted to do that as a division problem, well, I could write 28 divided by 20. 20 goes into 28 one time. 28 minus 20 is 8, so 1 and 8 twentieths. Okay, and you could simplify this. I know that there's been some talk about that. You can divide them if you would like, uh, both by 4. And you could get 2 fifths. So really, you could have 1 and 2 fifths or 1 and 8 twentieths. These are both fine. All right. Uh, I'll do a couple of examples of the word problems here. I'll just do one because they're really kind of easy. Uh, if we do two girls share seven yards of ribbon, as I'm writing with my finger. Okay, what that really means is, well, what are they sharing? Okay, well, they're sharing the seven yards, okay? So that means that they're taking the seven and they're dividing it between the two of them. So that's the first thing, identifying what is being divided, identifying the dividend. The dividend is the seven. That's what's being divided. What's doing the dividing? That's the divisor. So seven divided by two looks like seven over two. Okay, and if I wanted to uh, rewrite that as a mixed number, which is today's lesson, I could do seven divided by two. Two goes into seven three times. Two times three is six. One left over. So that means three and one half. That's my final answer. So the answer would be three and a half yards of ribbon. So real simple, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously, you know to get how to get in touch with us. Uh, keep up the great work, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.